Guys, the sun is like right there, right into my eyeball. So I'm gonna be looking angry at you guys, even though I'm really happy about this bike. <laughs> All right, let's get right into it. Uh, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I convert bikes into e-bikes, and case in point, sometimes you do awesome bikes into awesome e-bikes. This is the Salsa Muckluck. This is a fat tire bike. This is super fat. This is a snowmobile. If you're looking for like, oh, I want to get a snowmobile, but I also want a bicycle, this is, this is where you go. 26 by 4.6 inch tires. These things will go anywhere oh man there's so much to talk about about this bike it's like overwhelming i don't even want to do this video it's too much to talk about <laughs> i'm gonna compose myself let's do this okay this is the salsa mucklock fat tire bike this is a pretty high-end bike um but if you're looking for something that can get you into super remote areas explore year round no matter where you live this is the bike you want to be looking at so let's get into what what we did to this bike to make it just awesome. It's got hydraulic disc brakes, so we put hydraulic disc brake sensors on it. It's a fat tire bike, so you gotta put a fat tire motor on it, something that has a larger bottom bracket on it. We went with a 120 millimeter uh, motor, and you can see that you, it's not quite, the the chain stay here is, it protrudes quite a bit, so we had to put a 10 millimeter spacer here, and then two two and a half millimeter spacers so 15 millimeters worth of spacers on the drive side to get it just so it's barely touching the chain stay but not putting pressure on it and then nothing on the other side uh, i went with a 52 volt 17 amp hour battery 500c color display with a throttle next to it so you could use this thing as a throttle literally as a snowmobile or you could pedal it like a bike you can see back here this thing has got a massive massive cassette back here i think this is a 44 tooth back here and we put a 36 tooth lecky chain ring up front so the gear ratio is like one to 1 1.2 and a half 1.3 so the hill climbing on this is just going to be insane this is a torque monster oh man this bike is so awesome uh we put a gear shift sensor on it right here that just cuts power while you're shifting keeps your chain your cassette keeps your drivetrain in good health. Um, otherwise you hear about people like, oh, you break your, you're gonna go through your drivetrain so much. No, you're not. Just put a gear shift sensor on it, shift properly, ride your bike properly, and your bike is gonna last forever. You're gonna have a, a long lasting, high performance vehicle as long as you ride it properly. Okay, let's do what, we're, what you guys are all here for. Let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. And what I do there is I hill climb from a rolling start and I hill climb from a dead stop right before like a 30 degree angle. And then I also check uh, top speed without pedaling. Let's go check it out. So you can see hill climbing I mean, if I, if I was leaning up, if I was standing upright, this thing would have just bucked me right off. But you got to get down and this thing will just whoo, click, take you up anywhere. Oh man, this thing will take you up this vertical wall. If I could hold on to it and these tires could grip, it would do it. It's that gear ratio. Oh man, don't worry about getting a super high powered motor. Be thinking about your gear ratio. What kind of riding are you doing? Do you want low end grunt or do you want high speed commuting? Do you want to be pedaling at 35 miles an hour? Get with the, get a big one. Do you want to be climbing slippery slopes in the snow? Get a small one. Get a bigger cassette here. You could swap out your rear cassette too. You could add this to any bike, almost any bike. This bike combination with this motor was about $1,400. And I think he said he got this bike used on Craigslist for about 1200. So 1200 plus 1400, 2600 bucks for a super high-end bike that you cannot buy anything close to this spec-wise, component-wise, ride-wise for $2600. Are you kidding me? You go look at some of those other fat bikes that they got for sale, those things are like 5, 6 grand. It's insane. So just if you spend a little bit of time, you can get something that's going to outperform those bikes 
with better quality components. This, this bike rides like a dream for half the price. A better bike for half the price. Oh, custom e-bikes are the future. I gotta scream it from the rooftops. Anyways, hopefully you guys found this helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Check you later if you like this video. I'm holding my salute. Subscribe, guys. Check, get notifications for my videos. I do a lot of live videos, too. Um, I do a lot of Ask Me Anything. So if you guys want to chime in and ask me some questions about e-bikes, you can do it live, and I'll, do, I'll answer you live. Um, so stay tuned, subscribe, and ding the bell so that you get notified for that type of stuff. Ow, why am I pushing so hard against my forehead? All right, later, guys.